Jim, where are you? Myra, where are you? Keep talking to me. Where are you? I cannot see a thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my I don't even know where, where we are. Hey, is that? Whoa, wait. Oh, there I, you are. There you are. Oh my God. Where are we and how did we get here? I have no idea, Myra. This is creepy. This is super creepy. What's Holy that? Shit. Let's go see. Do you see that light over there? Ooh. Wait. There's a person there. Oh. <laughs> wait. Oh my God. Oh. It's Jason. Whew. Wow. Myra, wait. What is this? Oh my gosh. Is this where we're doing our Wine and Spirits podcast? It must be. Is this? Is this Pine Bend Woods where those oh. teenagers disappeared? Holy crap. It is. How did we get here? I guess when people leave, other people have to get here. I guess so. Well, well I guess we have to sit down and <clears throat> let's do it. Take care of business. All what right. day is it today, Myra? Oh, I am right. Friday the 13th. the 13th. Oh my God. Woo. You guys, thanks for joining us. Yes. Thank you <clears throat> for coming back. And thank you to our new viewers. Um, we have no idea how we got here. No, nope. I don't know how we're getting home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. But uh, we are going to try something different. What are we drinking? Looks like we have a cauldron cocktail. Ooh. Yeah, so it looks like, let's see here. Um, I think, so being that I got to mix this, I think we have to start with some um, fancy rocks. Ooh, that looks cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. <gasps> There's some fancy rocks. Smoking. And I think <laughs> for our cocktail today, we're going to stick with tequila. What oh, do you yeah. Think? All right. So we're going to do Works a couple of these. Ooh. Ooh, I you love guys, it. I love that's it. That's what tequila does. <laughs> that's so cool. Isn't that amazing? It's like a witch's brew. And I got this little um, set from At Home. And oh. it comes with this lovely cocktail mix. It's not yep. alcoholic, but it's called Evil Spirits Witch's Brew. Oh, how proper. Perfect. Ooh, Ooh hear the bubbling. That is amazing. <laughs> that sounds so cool. And then I think also to just kind of top it off a little, we're just going to go with some nice old, give it a little fizz. I think one of these should be enough. Yeah. That <clears throat> sounds so cool. And it's just going to keep going until it's done. Oh, I can see it down there. What do you think? Do you think that's enough? Yeah. It's got a nice little green hue to it. Yeah. So I think I'm going to stir this up. What's that? The Hamlet. Oil and trouble <laughs> something. Ooh, okay. And let's put some fancy rocks in our drink glasses. Let's do it. Myra's got her trusty scream. scream. What's your favorite scary movie? And I've got trusty Friday the 13th Jason, my boy. All right, let's Ooh. see. Let me pour this for you first. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go, people. Ooh. Okay. There we go. And would you hold my glass and I'll do this? Yeah. Woo. There we go. Oof. I All can right. smell that tequila. Mm-hmm. There you are, guys. All right. Should we give it a good review? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, it went up my nose. <laughs> the smoke. It's not bad. It is not it's bad. bad. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of those, top it off with some more sprite those drinks that we had um, in New Orleans. Can't remember what they're called. The grenades? Yeah. Oh, shit. A little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I remember the grenades. Those were always yeah, a good a time. Bit. Thank you. There you go. It's All got right. a sweet taste to it. It does. But we'll do, as usual, our <clears throat> review a little bit later. Sure. So what are we talking about today? Well, it's Friday the 13th, so let's talk about Friday the 13th. Yes. Yeah. So do you know how it originated? Um, the superstition <clears throat> that the number 13 is an unlucky 
it's, it's thought to be an unlucky number. So it originated in ancient times. Um, mm -hmm. There are several possible explanations for it. Um, in Christianity, <clears throat> there's mm -hmm. Judas, the 13th guest at the Last Supper, yep. um, is the person who betrays Jesus. And then in Norse, uh, Norse mythology, Norse mythology yeah. I always go Norse. Uh, <clears throat> Loki, the trickster, mm -hmm. um, God is the 13th guest at a dinner party in Valhalla mm -hmm. um, and it arranges for the death of the god Baldur. So oh. that's another one. Okay. And then also um, the number 13 is one beyond the number 12, which is often seen as a complete number. So 12 mm -hmm. months in a year, 12 signs of the Zodiac, 12 apostles of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So kind of like a mocking, kind of like when um, you we're need talking, to get that one more. Right. Yeah. Um, so that <clears throat> that's the superstition um, that is Friday the 13th. And just a combination of things, I guess. Yeah. And kind of like we talked before, there's no 13th floor in elevators. Yep. Um, it's just a uh, Friday was the day of the Jesus crucifixion in Christianity. So. So they linked the Friday with the number 13th, and then yep. just found all these other things about the number 13 mm -hmm. as well. So it's just been okay. associated with death and mm -hmm. bad luck. So that's pretty much the gist of it. I love the number 13th. For me, I feel like it's lucky. I, I usually pick the number 13 or the number 31. So the opposite, like yep. obviously 13, because I love the, the unlucky number. Yep. And then I pick number 31 because it's 31 for Halloween. So, oh yeah. And I like, I like both. And also your anniversary. My anniversary is on Halloween. Yeah. But some people may avoid like making important decisions like traveling, mm -hmm. uh, money decisions, or even getting out of bed that day. Some people won't even go to work. Do you <laughs> ever recall a time that you might have had some bad luck on a Friday the 13th? You know, now that I think about it, I don't no? recall. Yeah, usually for me, it's a pretty lucky day. I mean, on a normal day when I'm trying to do something good for other people, bad things happen to me. You know, like if you're trying to run an errand and you like uh, get in an accident yep. or, or like you, like I've done things where I've hurt myself, like I'm trying to carry my mom's like new stove into her house. And I wasn't even carrying the stove. I was carrying the, the little grate. And then I like turned my ankle right outside her door. And I'm like, seriously. But I mean, it's other days for sure. But Friday the 13th, never had an issue yeah I I've never noticed anything on there I mean I do have other superstitions that I kind of go by you mm -hmm. know like breaking a mirror mm -hmm. you know stuff like that going under a, a ladder, ladder or if a black cat a black cat yeah yep. crosses your path stuff like that um, but nothing that I recall on the 13th yeah I still go to work I still go to work. I mean, I don't think that I would never not get on a, like a plane or get in a car. It's just, it's another day. And being that it's the day that I love, I actually try to count how many Friday the 13th are in the year be oh. when the new year starts. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, oh, that, like this year I was very excited because it was on October. Yeah. So that's always a great thing. Yes. And, you know, it just all <laughs> comes together. And I believe some people, especially me thinking it's very lucky, um, some people think that it's a good day to go gambling. Mm -hmm. So follow those mystic lights, <laughs> get your butt there, oh gosh, play mystic. the black cat machine or something, I don't know, <laughs> and uh, maybe give your luck a try. But I get some of that money, right? Yeah. I get a, a finder's fee. <clears throat> and um, I think that's where the whole Friday the 13th series sparked with Jason, mm -hmm. our little friend back there. Yeah. That creeped us out at first because we didn't know who, if it was a real person or not. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. So what do you think? What's your, uh, for people who haven't watched Friday the 13th, what's your brief synopsis of the movie? It's not really about Friday the 13th, for one. <laughs> uh, they do try to release the movies on Friday the 13th, so I appreciate that. Yeah. And I think the first, um, I think on the first one, I think they tie it to his, Jason's birthday if oh, okay. I'm not mistaken, but I could be completely wrong about that. But I do think that they do try to release it on Friday the 13th. And, you know, we know Jason doesn't actually come into it till later. But right. um, do you know which one your favorite Friday the 13th is? Do you have one? Mm, not really. <clears throat> I mean, I just, uh, I don't remember which one it was. It's the one with the um, the camp. <laughs> where, no, like where, <laughs> not just <laughs> the one with the camp. There's, no, it's there's the, two that don't have a camp. <laughs> The one that has all of the, um, I'm trying to think Sorry. of, I, there's this, this, there's specific scenes that I'm trying to okay. think of, but the thing is, is I keep getting mixed up with Sleepaway Camp, so I'm oh, like, I don't want to okay. say the wrong 
scene of it, okay. but it's it has to do with that. Okay, I don't, so I don't so have a favorite kind one of maybe in general. The first first five, probably somewhere. the first, probably in there. That, I didn't really care for you know when they kept doing spinoffs <laughs> like um, Jason versus Freddy mm -hmm. and all that stuff. That kind of got a little hokey for me. Mm -hmm. So I like the classics. I like the originals yep. before they kind of got I think crazy with for it. For me, it's probably number three. Um, I mean, if I look back at it now, it's that so one. outdated. It's in a camp, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and it's on Crystal Lake, and we do have a Crystal Lake in Minnesota, you guys. So yes. if you didn't know, it's, you know, <laughs> I've never um, like gone fishing or anything there, but Me we neither. do have a Crystal Lake in Minnesota. But I think number three <laughs> was one of my favorites, three. just because I think that was also like when my childhood was like developing the love for horror, mm -hmm. and that was one that was on TV all the time. And it's not like as hokey, you know. You got you still got like the '80s like. You know, you got the, the camp counselors who's running off into the woods to do yep. what they And you got Jason, like, killing everybody. Um, I think that was <clears throat> my main part of the movie that mm -hmm. I like. I like that, you know, the, the suspense and the thrill of mm -hmm. this is going on. Someone disappears. You mm -hmm. don't know where they went, what happened, or they mm -hmm. end up in the woods. <laughs> yeah, and the irresponsibility of camp counselors when they should be watching children. And they're off. Messing around. Yep. Getting the nookie. I mean, <laughs> you know. And what else? I think there are 12 Friday the 13th. Are there? Yeah. Oh, wow. So there's not 13 yet. So I'm kind of like, what's going on? Because the latest one was the one with uh, Jared Padalecki. And that was in 2009. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I did watch that because he was in it. But <laughs> I agree with you. I think my, my worst one was probably Jason X. The one with him Oh, God, space. I forgot about that one. <laughs> that was so awful. Like, I didn't even entertain <clears throat> the thought of watching it. I, oh, my goodness. I watched it again recently um because it was on netflix or something like that it was i i i told a coworker of mine i was like it was always the worst one i've always hated it and i swear netflix heard me and then they put it on my next netflix like things to watch and i'm like okay <laughs> so I, I i sent it to him like look what netflix sent me and then sure enough i'm like i guess i'll watch it one more time just to see how dumb it is and it's just as dumb but they actually had some decent kills yeah yeah so yeah. I don't know about that one because I didn't watch that one. But they do have a marathon coming up. They always do. I think yeah. it always leads up to, well, no. I think I would say it should lead, lead up, up to, to Friday the 13th. But. Yeah. But anyway, it, for Friday the 13th, um, the number is often associated with death and mourning. So, for mm -hmm. example, in many cultures, it's uh, 13 days of, it's tradition to mm -hmm. mourn for 13 days. Mm -hmm. So that's another reason why it's been associated with being unlucky but like i said i haven't had anything that i remember mm -hmm. <laughs> um happen on that day so yeah what else do we got um also within witchcraft right there's a lot of like 13 yep. um it's associated with the occult people say and in some cultures they believe that there needs to be 13 witches to gather to you know bring it on the creatures yeah the whatever they're conjuring up <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I I don't know. It's just it's never been a day that I have been freaked out about. But it has been a day I've been excited about because a lot of people do celebrations that day, mm -hmm. like me. Um, yes, and Halloween parties. Mm -hmm. And another thing that's been associated with the number thirteen is um, the S Apollo thirteen spacecraft oh. disaster actually okay. happened on Friday the thirteenth. And it's the number thirteen. Yes. Wow. Yep. And then there's also, I don't know if you've seen the movie 13 Ghosts. No. I mean, that, yes, I'm sorry. I have seen 13 Ghosts. There's two different ones. There's like an old version. Oh, the original. And the newer version. And then the which remake. Which is not one of my favorites. The remakes is not. But carry on. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But that was like another example of having to have 13 ghosts in order to unlock this whatever Hell portal. Or, or whatever, whatever they were trying to do. Whatever yeah. he was trying to do. But Oh, interesting. Okay. Wrapping that up. Well, I know that we talked about Friday the 13th, but we are out in this creepy ass woods and I keep hearing noises back there now and again. I keep hearing sticks breaking. Yeah. So, I mean, anything creepy happened with you lately? Uh, not that I can think of other than being out here and yeah. our, our like, I mean, we can just talk about what we like about Halloween I mean, other than it's... being in the dark woods and not being able to see behind oh. us. Um, <laughs> Sorry, there is a pet. Pearl. There's Pearl. Pearl's joining us. It's a Pearl normal. Well, you can't see her, but she's very sweet. Um, <laughs> she's come to rescue us. Maybe she can lead us back. Or maybe she's sensing something that we don't know. Maybe she knows I keep I'm looking scared. behind me. I, there's, <clears throat> I'm probably being paranoid. There's probably nothing behind me, but I can't help it because I keep so, hearing sticks breaking. Halloween. 
my favorite like day of it? the year. Oh, what don't I like about it? <laughs> uh, I don't know whatever drew me to Halloween, but um, I think I've, I think I've always, always liked it. Mm-hmm. One of the major things I remember is uh, like coming, coming to school and then they would like give you like a paper mass of like color and cut out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know what the hell this thing is, but this is fun. <laughs> so, and then they would give you candy that day or whatever. And so candy is great. And then dressing up and then it started becoming a thing with me where you'd have like the, the elementary school, like Halloween parade. So I'd always oh, look forward yeah. to doing that and just walking down the hall or in your classroom and just having your Halloween party just for a little bit, you know, they call it a fall party now, but just yep. that small little bit of Halloween. And I really, really, really wish that the schools would just call it Halloween party again and <laughs> that they would allow kids to, um, kind of wear whatever I understand that there's like a certain limit to some of the gore and stuff yeah and when you know working at the Halloween store when a young child would come and want like a gory creepy costume oh they were my favorite (laughs) you know but then they'd always have to buy two because then Mm -hmm. they got to put like a nice tame fireman one for for school school. yeah if they get to do it at all yeah so that's kind of some of my fondest memories of Halloween and I think just growing up just slowly it's just you know especially when I started making money and I could buy a lot of the uh yeah the Halloween like <laughs> props and look what it is today and yeah get my yard yeah. set up I'm that house on the block oh so. yes your your house is awesome mm-hmm. yep your decorations I love it yeah how about you <laughs> Halloween same same I loved it growing up my thing that I like the most is dressing up I love, I love dressing, dressing up. up in costumes Cosplay. Anything that I can do to dress up, I would do it all the time. I mean, yeah. even when I was younger, I'd fake put like a uh, shirt on my head to pretend like it was like red, like I was Ariel. Oh. <laughs> so I would dress up like that. I, anything I could do to dress up, I, mean, I that's would. That's very so, creative. Though. So I, I love dressing up mm-hmm. and Halloween was just a reason to do it, even though I would try to dress up throughout the year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Halloween was like my biggest holiday that I looked forward to all the time. Yeah. And I feel like, um, you know, and the, th- the thing about Halloween, too, is maybe we'll do this on another episode, but maybe we could talk more about Halloween and, like, what it means and, you know, kind of do the same thing with our Friday the 13th yeah. since we have it in October. But maybe we could discuss Halloween in the future, too. And, you know, some of I, the traditions <clears throat> and where it stems from. Mm-hmm. I know all that. <laughs> I know all the history. Me, too. <laughs> yep. And then uh, jack-o'-lanterns is huge. I love jack-o'-lanterns. I love yep. the, the orange and the black and just the color combo yeah. and everything that comes with Halloween. And I remember, I guess my mom, I remember this because when we first came to this country, my mom got a call from one of the other um, uh, um, immigrants mm-hmm. that you know we knew. And he's like, hey, it's, it's Halloween. These kids are gonna come knocking at your door and they're gonna ask for candy. <laughs> and she's like, what? Like she doesn't know. And I think because we we didn't know we weren't prepared and I think my mom gave them like cereal like from the box it was like here you go because I mean because also you know as as an immigrant they're like oh if you don't give them something they're gonna throw eggs at your house and they're gonna do oh, all these yeah. terrible things and so she's Some like oh did. I guess I guess I have to like give them something so I'm sure those poor kids were very confused as to why they were maybe getting like cheap cereal by handfuls well you that's know. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that, that other cultures may not Mm -hmm. celebrate or, you know, have celebrations or participate in Halloween the Mm -hmm. way we do. Yeah, because I remember hearing that story and I remember also going trick or treating with like um, some of my other, uh, the other like kids, because my mom didn't take me trick or treating. Like, (laughs) you know, that wasn't a thing we did. But um, I would always kind of piggyback on like one of the other young kids, um, you know, especially like immigrants and their dad or mom would drive them around Around, and so that was nice I'm like wait a second I can go to somebody's door and get candy and they're just gonna (laughs) give it to me and all I have to say is like trick-or-treat like this is so easy you know and man you know you get like your sugar high and you know I loved I loved it oh I loved it (laughs) oh I still do I mean still do we still dress up the costumes are a little bit more gory and they're allowed now sexy or sexy yeah yep a lot of people (laughs) use Halloween (laughs) to dress up as a hoe. <laughs> I'm just going to put it up there. You know who you are. We all did it at one time, Myra. Yeah, we did. I mean, I know, I know I've know, i done it. <laughs> Sexy nurse. <laughs> sexy witch. It's just like, really? It's just everything is I'm sexy. I'm a mouse. Duh. <laughs> <Never>. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From Mean Girls. <laughs> From Mean Girls. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. 
So why don't we uh, get back to rating these wonderful the cocktails? Cool things. I mean, it looks so cool. Well, I like it with tequila. I think the Sprite or Seven Up Sprite helped out a lot. Mm -hmm. Gives it a little fizz. I like it. I'm gonna give it a what are we one to five? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I was gonna go ten. Um, I was gonna give out that good, huh? No, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a four because I would give it a five if it wasn't too sweet. Because mm -hmm. obviously, mixing it up in a fun cauldron, the, the yeah. experience is a five. Yes, the I drink, agree. The drink is a four. Could be a little less sweet. Um, I'm gonna do three and a half. Mm -hmm. Like I, like you said, the experience is a five. But <sighs> me, I have a hard time with sweet drinks. Mm -hmm. I can drink a, a little bit, but like it kind of tastes like candy corn. It does. Yeah. It tastes. It just tastes like I'm drinking straight candy. Yeah. <laughs> Liquefied. Well, if you guys want to get your own, you could definitely stop by and see if they still have some. Or if you guys have other cocktails, maybe we should try this month. Yes. That would be good. So yes. send us those. Spooky drinks. Spooky drinks. Yeah, maybe we can get <laughs> some things together and mix it up and, you know, do some more. Try some more different things other than wine. Yeah, These are our spirits. Spirits. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Speaking yeah. of spirits, um, yes. we did have a chance to go see um the exorcist the yeah. believer yeah the new one so we got so i got these like um like pre-screening passes and obviously i had invited myra to go with and so i we got to the theater everything was all good and i liked it we're going to try not to give away anything because you guys can still go see it in the theaters right now it was supposed to open on friday the 13th but then taylor swift came along mm -hmm. and was like i'm gonna open my movie on friday the 13th so they obviously need to make their money. So they kind of opened it up the week before, which is, I think, smart on their end. Mm -hmm. um, so I was excited that Very it was smart. coming out on Friday the 13th. But we got to go see a pre-screen, and I really liked it. Um, it's not as scary as I was expecting. Yeah. And not as, like, I don't want to say terrifying. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's about some girls, and they're trying to, like, contact the dead. Kind of similar to the original where um, Reagan was playing with uh, the Ouija board. Yep. And obviously they have some, you know, they have to get this exorcism going on. They have to get permission from the church. Um, they've got some um, medical things they're like looking at as to yep. what happened. And I mean, I'm not giving anything away, but there are two young girls in this one that both got possessed. That's not a, that's not a spoiler. If you saw the poster. Yeah. Um, we already don't know that that's what that's it is. Pretty much in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I, I enjoyed it too. Um, like you were saying, I thought it was a little little bit tamer mm -hmm. than I was expecting. There were some good jump scares they, in there, mm -hmm. some good concepts. I don't want to give too much away, but um, some of it was just a little, <laughs> it was a little dry. And I think mm -hmm. I set the bar a little too high because I'm used to the classic. I'm a classic person. I mean, why shouldn't you though? But it was just, it, it, there was so much that I could have done more mm -hmm. that I felt like um, it was a little bit sometimes all over the place. Yeah. But other than that, I liked it. I wouldn't discount it yet. I feel like they, hopefully, hopefully they will continue it because mm -hmm. this was supposed to be the start of a new series oh, for it. Oh, okay. Um, for this line. So I'm, I'm hoping they'll do something different with the second one, if there is a second one. But I, I just say give it a chance because it actually was pretty good. It's worth the watch. Yes. It was worth the There's watch. There's some comedic stuff in there, too, mm -hmm. that I, I enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, and I liked, I actually really liked the, the two girls that did the acting. And they, they both look scary. Like, they did, <laughs> they did a good job with that. And they a very good scary. job. Yeah. But, yes, go see it if you haven't seen it already. Um, if you don't like scary movies. Don't see it don't see it because <laughs> it is still creepy yeah and yeah and like I said they had some good jump scares I I really I really liked it I if I were to rate it I would give it about a seven personally out of ten what do you think yeah yeah probably around there yeah kept us entertained but yes you know I think that's kind of what we got and I think we since Pearl's here we should probably lead us back home I know because I'm I don't want to be I don't even know how we got here but we'll we'll figure it out all right well Happy Friday the 13th, you guys. We're going to go walk in the dark and try yeah. to uh, figure out how to get out of here. So right. send me your um, cocktails that you want us to try. I'd love yes. to do that. But 
Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th, and we'll see you on the other, other side. side.